Hello there and welcome back to my channel. How are you? It is your girl Achola and today on Achola's Closet we are back to you with another everything I ever bought. Now if you are new here, welcome. My name is Achola here on Achola's Closet which are personal style and this is how to look and feel your best at any budget. And if that sounds like something you are interested in, go on and hit on that subscribe button and also hit on the bell so you get notified every time your girl drops a video. And with that being, now if you would like to see more of me, of course, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Achola's Closet. And jump um, back to our today's video. But before we dive into the video, if you are wondering what I am wearing, my dress is from H&M and she is about two years old now. I picked her about a couple of summers ago. I just thought she is beautiful. I love the pop of purple with the green leaves. Um, but definitely my most favorite part is the buttons detail on the side here. And of course, the puffy sleeve, it's right on trend. Now, back to our video. Today, I thought we will do another one of my favorite shoe stores in Calgary. And um, I have been shopping at this store for, ooh, I think it's 13 years now. Thir yeah, since I came to Canada in 2006. Um, no, but I found them, I think it was 2007 or 2008 was when I discovered MDX at Marlboro Mall. And I kid you not, it's been in the same spot for like since forever. Um, but I just love MDX. I think it is such a cool little store with so many unique things and of course they carry all different kinds of brands and it was one of the stores in Calgary that carried House of Dorian if you remember that's Beyonce and her mom brand um, they used to carry the shoes and bags I believe at MDX and then you know I just don't know what happened to House of Dorian but I um, remember buying a pair of heels back then that I really loved. I wore the life out of that shoes that the sole just broke on me one time and that was the end of the shoes. Um, but I loved that shoes. Now, continuing on with MDX, this is in no way a sponsored video or a paid video. I am just doing this because I honestly just love the store and I think the girls that work at MDX are just amazing. Every time you go in, you get the best customer service you can ever ask for. And um, I just, I love shopping at MDX. So now, to show you everything I ever bought from MDX. We are going to start, of course, with probably the first item I ever bought from MDX. And that would have been back in 2007 Christmas or 2008 Christmas. And that is this earrings right here. She still looks beautiful. I mean... The silver, you know how silver usually turn into like copper? This one amazingly remain like silver and I love that. Now this one here, I just saw it and I loved it. I love the feathers, the little rhinestones detail there and just the whole chain design. She is super beautiful. I haven't worn this in the last maybe five six years but I've been keeping it I always make sure that she is safe and the feathers are not getting damaged and I am glad I did that because I mean it's still in great shape and I'll probably wear it a lot more too so but this was one of the first things I've ever bought at MDX 
Now, speaking of House of Dorian, I bought this pair of shoes, I think back in like late 2000s as well. And like I said, I wore the life out of it. And um, one time the sole just broke and that was the end of it. And I didn't want to take it to a cobbler and have them work on it and bring her back to life. I was like, no, she can go. That's it. Um, but another one of my favorite things that I picked up at MDX is this beautiful bag right here. Now the size is perfect. Shape is just beautiful. I use it with like I use the top handle a lot of the times or sometimes what I would do is I'll just fold it over and kind of just hold it like this because you know um, the shoulder the crossbody strap here I don't really use it a lot I'm not a crossbody bags kind of person I like top handles or just carrying it as a clutch like that's my thing now this baby here of course comes with a big side pocket and of course the lining is a beautiful teal color now over here you have zipper to the main compartment of the bag and of course you have a side pocket there and then you also have the little two pockets here it's quite large and which makes it a perfect bag for work if you don't want something black of course this color is just beautiful I honestly just love it you can carry your tablet your notebooks anything you need your lotions your wallet whatever you need this bag gets like got you covered um, now moving along to shoes um, so I've got this baby right here I call her the candy cane shoes she is just so beautiful she's about six and a half inches high but again you got the platform there which makes it super comfortable now she is very old I don't know if I want to take her to a cobbler and have him bring her back to life but I think it's time to retire her like I've worn the life out of the shoes and um, again as I said maybe it's time to just let her <laughs> go but I love the stripe the white and the red it's just beautiful and speaking of shoes that needs to go to a cobbler I also have this gorgeous white strappy sandals of course with the silver heel and platform heel this one here if you are following me on Instagram you probably seen it in a post where I was wearing my faux fur vest I did a photo shoot wearing this and that faux fur vest I honestly again just like my candy cane shoes I wore the life out of the shoes I cannot tell you um, the other pair actually like literally just came off from here um, and the heel of course is a little bit looser now so I'm like okay maybe it's time to retire her as well but she's just been sitting in my basement I brought her up just for this video now continuing on with some six seven inches high heels I also have this beautiful white heel right here I just love the little details here she is about six and a half almost seven inches high now I haven't worn this in few years now and um, I can tell you that this is one of the few shoes I've ever fell down in. I know, right? You're probably thinking, well, of course you will fall down. I know. But for the longest time, I have mastered the art of walking to work and from work at work in this particular shoes. 
and then one time after work I was just walking home I used to live downtown and so I was just walking home tripped fell my jeans my knees were bruised uh, my hand was bruised as well I was so mad but ever since I've always been super careful with this baby now the trick is if I'm going out carry it to the car <laughs> no more walking we'll carry it to the car drive to the location pop it off just walk into the venue do my thing when I come out we get to the car we're removing the shoes and come home simple as that we're not falling no more no I'm moving along I have my cherry I literally cherries print palms over here again about six and a half seven inches high I used to be obsessed with like seven inches high <laughs> um, but no that has changed in the last few years um, only about my four and a half five inches high heels now but um, these ones of course I have them in my possession and I'm not I haven't decided if I want to keep them or sell them and um, but no I honestly love this one now the thing is one of the reasons I haven't really worn it a lot is because it's a little bit too big and you know when your shoes is a little bit too big it's difficult to walk in them um, problem is they didn't have my size which was seven and um, so I had um, I had my sister get me the seven and a half which was a terrible idea I wish I've gone a six and a half instead because that would have been perfect and I would have worn the life out of the shoes and um, if you don't know by now I hate insoles but I think I'm gonna have to get insoles for this one just to make it fit better and that and so that I can wear this shoes out because honestly it's just been sitting in my closet I've probably worn it maybe once or twice but that was it never really a whole lot so she looks brand new now another one of my favorites is this beautiful silver wedges over here she is just beautiful again just like my cherry heels this one is been worn maybe once <laughs> to a party and um, I don't know why but I think I need to get into wearing the shoes more often because I really love it and I think it is interesting like the way the heel is cut I think it's just very cool and that was one of the reasons I bought it so I am definitely going to be wearing this a little bit more. last but not least I have this super cute suede black pumps with the pom-pom detail now this one of course this was the reason for me purchasing this one and um, again they didn't have a size 7 in the store size 6 however fits perfectly now this one here of course it is one of my favorite shoes I wear it every now and then but I think she is just beautiful and I love her and now moving on to boots um, if you know me you know how much I love boots especially anything above the knee and thigh highs those are my favorite first one I have is my beautiful red platform boots here I just love this thing and um, I bought this about five maybe six years ago but she is still amazing and in the last 
five, six years, I've only had the heel change once. And um, right now I am debating because, you know, she is wearing out a little. So I was debating if I should get a glue and some sequins and kind of just purple her up. Um, or what I could do is get um, the glue and then just cover her in like an African material just to make it look like an African print boots which I think is definitely the direction I'm going towards but you guys comment below sparkles or African print like an African fabric African fabric or sparkles go on comment below and let me know which one you think I should do because she is just really wearing down and I don't like I don't really like the way she looks anymore with like the missing suede parts it just doesn't look nice but um, she has definitely been my favorite she is about thigh high but the best thing is you can also fold her over and she becomes just about knee high like right at the knee so next up of course my white boots over here this one she is so beautiful and i just love her the slouchiness super amazing but when you put it on it's actually pretty nicely fitted and straight on the inside so the slouchy detail is just on the outside and um, white boots is one of the trends for the season and it has been for the last couple of seasons of course but I didn't buy it because it's a trend piece I bought it because I didn't have white boots and I I think I like I purchased a pair of white boots back early 2000 and it had like fringe on it but it wasn't high enough or like tall enough and so I got rid of it um, so when I went into the store and I saw this one and it was under 60 bucks I just had to get her like and um, she was the only one in the store in my size so of course I knew baby was meant to be mine and she had to come home but you my friends are in luck if you would like a pair of this I was in Marlboro Mall a couple of days ago and I saw they have these boots in stock so definitely go in and get your pair and last but not least is my sparkly baby right here now this again she is just super amazing and um story is i got this two christmases ago or almost three no two christmases now um it was a gift uh the gift originally was just a silver pumps which looked something like this right but um i was like you know what i already have that one so I didn't need another sparkly pumps so I went into the store to exchange it and when I got there they had this in stock but now the problem is she was the only pair I feel like every time I go there it's always the last pair I don't know why but found this and she was the last pair that happened to be a size 9 so I said I'm gonna try the size 9 and we'll see how she fits I tried it on it's not too bad I mean it's two sizes up all right but with some thick ass socks it is all good like every time I wear this I make sure I wear her with some thick socks and um, you know I think I'm gonna get some thick insole to put it inside of this because I just love these boots and the size was not going to stop me I was like I'm gonna have these boots I'm gonna get it and um, this one was about 80 something maybe 90 dollars 
but again i had the other shoe so i just exchanged and then paid the difference but if you go into mdx they also have a lot of sparkly shoes but in like different colors different sequins they also had this beautiful burgundy sequined like flower detail boots that i really love um but you know i had to choose between this or the burgundy one i was like you know what i like this one better because the burgundy was just a little bit shorter than this one so i was like no i'll take the silver of course and it's just such a stand out boots now uh, this one of course i wear it to parties and wear it during the daytime for more of a dressed up look to a date night but the possibilities are endless with this baby and that brings us to the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please comment below and let me know which one was your favorite and also what you would like to see next or here on this channel and um, with that being said you have before i go don't forget to hit on that subscribe button if you haven't already and also hit on the bell so you get notified every time your girl drops a video. Find me on Instagram at Achala's Closet and with that, you have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.